Word Up V, not TV. No, you do. You gotta get down and lay down on not TV. I know y'all niggas say fuck not TV, but if I hear that shit out your mouth, I'll beat the brakes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not TV, TV, baby. baby. Holla at him. Motherfuck the government, motherfuck the system, motherfuck the flag for y'all my niggas from prison. If you black, Hispanic, Indian, then listen, we the real Jews, nigga, fuck there. No more smoke in my lungs, I got a cup full of jack. Repenting for my sins, now I'm dressing all black. And my boots laced up, I ain't never going back. From here on, long as I'm breathing, nigga, never be the same. Deliver lyrical arts and set the booth up in flames. Right, we here in VA, man, with my man, your Rosh. Tell the people who you are, where you from. Salam, Israel. I'm your Rosh Ma, Officer Fire. It's well, put me over, he gon' shoot cause my shape. You're Rosh Ma from the ISUPK. I'm originally from Jersey. Uh huh. I come from Lakewood, New Jersey. That's where I was born and raised at. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? That's exactly why I stay. Uh huh. And then later on, I uh maybe around my middle school, high school, I moved into the suburbs with a lot of white people. I went to a mostly an all white school. Uh huh. So you know that's high school or middle school? Uh, middle school where okay. it began. In a call uh, a city named Jackson, mm -hmm. Jackson, New Jersey, Ocean County. Mm -hmm. That's where I spent the majority of my time. Mm -hmm. Was a uh, only just about maybe it was like fifty black people damn there in the entire in the entire town. Oh man! So I, I could I could literally we all the black people we knew each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't deal <laughs> I didn't deal with fans either. If you if y'all don't know what fans is, fans are fake fake ass niggas. Like we didn't deal with fans. So okay. and I knew if you was a fan, if you was a fan, I didn't, I didn't really fuck with you. Okay, you know, yeah. So y'all have so, <laughs> y'all had black groupies and all that. Yeah, we had no choice because uh -huh. you know Jackson was like a it's a real racist town. Mm. Like my pops uh, moved uh, over there when he was also in high school and shit like that mm -hmm. because you know my grandparents believed in in uh in mlk and integration mm. so they thought a white school system would be better for my father mm. even though that shit didn't even work out for him so, so how the hell would it work out for me so what happened with, like what, 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 happened, what happened with him so what happened oh so he he, he became a drug addict oh he, he still he still became a drug addict doing the stuff in and out of jail mm. as if moving from linden was going to do anything moving mm. from you know elizabeth and nork and all that shit was going to change anything mm. you know that that's why i enjoyed the truth because it was so truth cursed out that being the city and cursed out that being the field i went to the field mm. we went to the field in the suburbs in mm -hmm. jackson new jersey right and the same curses still hit my father just like the same curses were hitting all my people mm. and it was a real racist town it was brought up on racism he even told me a story my pops even told me a story um how his uh how his best friend uh lamont mm -hmm. his, one of his best friends lamont got lynched by a whole bunch of white people for having sex with a white girl in jersey in the 90s in jersey in jersey no way in, in jersey and that's okay. and that's in the north not the south we ain't okay. talking about bama we talking about one of the most northern states there is right you know what i'm saying the tri-state area you feel me mm -hmm. so actually Philly, Jersey, Delaware is the Tri-State area. Right. But I see what you're doing here. You, you know said, what I'm saying? said Jer <laughs> <laughs> Jersey. That's Jersey. That's what we're Jersey is in two Tri-State areas. You it know is what the Tri-State area. I'm, we're talking about the Tri-State area. I thought you trying to throw New York in the mix. Nah, nah. New York, they a different breed. Yeah. I'm not against y'all New Yorkers. My, my older <laughs> brother, my older <laughs> brother, New York. New York. I, but I, we different. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. different. Jersey, New York, we, we, we straight. Facts, facts. You know. Totally different. So, man, so you grew up in a white neighborhood, man. Tell the people what it was like growing up in a white neighborhood. Honestly, it was... It was it was terrible. Mm. Let me explain how terrible it is. Like, you know, that's what made me really have a dislike towards white people because I seen their true colors and I seen like, you know, like growing like growing up, they would always make black jokes. That's what white people always did. They right. would make black jokes. Right. They'd be like, Oh, so um, where's your father? Oh, I forgot. You don't have one. Ooh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that and but you had to deal with that because you had no support. Right. Because your principal was white. Your guidance counselors were white. Right. Like your, the uh, security was white. The right. police officers was white. You know what I'm saying? There was no black people, so you had to go home and and try to for support. And mm. then you know your parents had to try to tell you it's okay. We we have been through it too, but don't worry. Just Damn. just pay attention in class. You're gonna have a better life. So you were kind of forced into being something. I was I was forced to pretty accept much submit, it. accept and submit myself to the way these people would act. Like they would be like, you know. 
oh, I, I, I bet you your dad paid hella child support. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, oh, you, oh, your dad went in, oh, your dad was in jail. Oh, we, we figured that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, and then at the same time, because I'm black, they be like, oh, I'm trying to be black like you. Yo, what's up? What's up? And they will try to sag their pants real low yeah. and start walk like, uh, like back in the day. Sagging was a really like a really thing, yeah. and you know what I'm saying. And then they would try to wear the hoodies that zipped all the way up, try to be yeah. like us. And they would they would just mock mm. mock black people, and that that shit irritated and it my kind soul. Of do it in your face too, wouldn't it? Yeah, they, it's it's just it's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I hated that shit. Damn. Okay. So so fast forward. You know what I'm saying like fast forward. What was life like in high school and and, and so, wherever you went afterwards? So in high school, high school was okay because you know in high school you kind of find in a way you kind of find yourself. Yeah. Shout out to the bugs. You know what I'm saying? BA. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, you you somewhat kind of you kind of find yourself in high school. Mm -hmm. So you know, I was really trying to search for myself and be around the right. You know Be around the right crowd Right You know what I'm saying I hung out with white people But I mostly tried to stay With black people Because that's actually Who we felt comfortable with With each other Right You know what I'm saying So you know I did track mm -hmm. You know I was in football But I mostly did track mm -hmm. And I and I kind of You know Just stayed with You know You know With my homeboys CJ and BD At the time We would just run track We would chill mm -hmm. And do all that worldly shit You know what I'm saying Right You know Getting high Driving Getting drunk You know Doing, doing whatever Right You know High school was You know you it was real you could see the real racism because you would see real white people them old co them country boys mm -hmm. in the suburban boroughs they we would separate each other mm -hmm. like we had our own lunch table right and uh, i went to jackson liberty high school we had our own lunch table mm -hmm. nobody sat there except for black people mm -hmm. and, it, and but you had that one token white boy though that you know that we thought it was down and shit. Jeez, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you know you okay. What happened you know? to the integration that your boss was talking about? <laughs> that shit, right, right. That shit failed. Like yeah. that shit, like that shit was trash as hell. <laughs> it didn't work for nobody. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that shit was trash. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That talking white guy. He always the one that's trying to infiltrate, man. Tear the squad down, man. Yeah. That's he was. He was just there to be there because he wanted to be black like us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He wished he could be like us. He would try to dress like us. And, you know, a few times he would try to say the n word. And some of the black, some of the black people would be like, it's okay, you know, like it's okay for you to say the nigga, you you you, you kind of got your black card. Mm. But others was like, like me, I'm like, nah, I pop you in your mouth, right. <laughs> right. like chill out, like you're not, you really not at all, not even that cool. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We not that cool. We not. Man, that's at all. crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. The dogs. Like you got the dog fight going on over there. For real. Yeah, you know I mean. All right, so 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 what was it like? Okay, so I run the time right before you came into the truth. What was going on with you? Okay, so after high school, I went into uh, I went into the military. I went to the okay. Navy. He saw military, mm. and you oh, know, so, oh, so you went to the Navy? Okay, yeah, I, I was in the Navy. I did I did my five years and got out and whatever. Mm -hmm. But you know, during that time, uh, really before the truth, I was just in the Navy. I was going out to sea. Mm -hmm. I was doing my job and you know, really just doing whatever, mm -hmm. kind of just staying to myself. I started to you know. I started to read a little because you know my father would speak to me. My father was a my father was a and kind of still is a five percenter. Mm -hmm. You know he was a five percent. So he I grew up the PRT. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, so I grew up under like Islam in a way. Mm -hmm. So I would try to read the Quran and all the other shit and try to get real studious into mm -hmm. into the blackity black type shit. Mm -hmm. But you know. So that's really what I did in the Navy. I would have a whole bunch of books. I would study. I would eat. I would work out. And I will kind of just do me. Mm. So that's kind of what I did before the truth. Shout out to all my Navy niggas, man. Y'all niggas is real <laughs> niggas, man. For real, for real. That's funny. Yeah, for real, for real. No, it's real. Yeah. You know what? Any branch of the military, I mean, sometimes you find real niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my brother. You know what I'm saying he, he he stayed true to himself. He he did all twenty. He did twenty. He retired out the navy. Yeah, stayed true to himself, man. So shout out to Pete. You know what I'm saying my my brother. You know what I mean. So um, all right. So so then what? So you start coming into the truth. You start reading. Start learning. Well, what happened? you know. So before. So how that really started. Um, some of y'all may know. Officer Malak in VA. Shout out Malak, man. Yeah, yeah. He was the one that got me into the truth. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna be really honest. I battled that brother. Constantly, <laughs> I'm not shout out to Malak, man. I battled that brother constantly. I was not fucking with the truth at yeah. all. Like I was, I, he was trying to tell me because he was really um because we were both trying to. He was trying to figure out. He was learning how to be an Israelite to be a Jew. We were on deployment, right? Yeah. Me and him, we were both on deployment, and you know, I never met uh Officer Malak before, but he came up to me. He seen you know I'm studying, reading books. He's yeah. like, he's like, hey, yo, brother, we got some, we got a class going on in the library. Yeah, and I think you'd be real interested in going. Uh -huh. And I'm like. All right, man, I'll go check y'all out. Yeah. And so, you know, 
I'm coming in there just thinking, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm African, pro-black. I'm doing all that other uh -huh. shit, you know? Right, you know, right, right. You know, Islam on the show. So I go in there, and there's some dude named Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was last name. There's some dude named Jackson. He was a brother, mm -hmm. and he was like, you know, he was saying, yeah, the Jews are black in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I said, being black is in the Bible. And I said, what? I said, nah, man. The Bible got nothing to do with black people. What are you talking about? Right. So, he, so he put, you know, he went into the Jews are black into the ground. Mm -hmm. I um in Job thirty thirty, I'm black, you know, and all this other stuff. And right. I'm like, my bones are black upon me. Oh, I said, oh my god. So I was like, okay, I can kind of, I'm trying to, okay, let me try to get more into this. Mm -hmm. And so Officer Malak, he ran with it. So when we got into port, you know, when we got off of deployment, Officer Malak was like, you know, I'm looking. To find these Israelites and find them all, mm -hmm. so he goes to DC, right? And he talks to Captain Mashak, and he's doing all this ISUBK stuff. And he would come back to the boat mm -hmm. and be like, "The ISUBK, the home of the truth, this, this, and that." Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to do my own studying. So because he's <laughs> saying the ISUBK, the home of the truth, me being a Christian, kind of like, man, fuck the home of the truth. Yeah, I don't give right, a damn right, about that right. shit. Whatever, you I'm gonna do my own it. shit. So you know, he's saying Shalom, I'm saying Shalom. Yeah. Like you know, and he and he would make fun of me too. He was like, yeah. he was like, Shalom, my brother, and I'm like. <laughs> Whatever. I was like, whatever, whatever. So, you know, yeah. and so, you know, it wasn't until sometime in November, you know, <laughs> you know, I was doing my research and everything. And I seen this cool, I seen this hardcore video. Uh -huh. And I was like, I seen the group, of, I seen a group of Israelites and it was, it was a brother. I'm not going to, I'm going to mention the names at the end. So, cause you know, and I want to see who, who can guess. Mm -hmm. So it was a tall, light skinned brother with a beard, mm -hmm. right? Maybe six, four, six, five. Mm -hmm. And some dark skinned nigga from the conscious community i gave y'all a hint mm -hmm. and i was wa and i was watching the video and i wasn't really paying attention to what they were wearing and other names but i'm like i fuck with this nigga i fuck with him you know i said whoever this is i want to follow him yeah. i want to find who this nigga are because it's so hardcore and then so i'm looking it up and all i see is big i shout out to home with the truth <laughs> big shout out to kevin big, Zari, big shout out to kevin Desari, and i said but everybody the truth <laughs> right i said i just home with the truth so i sat there and i was like Fuck. Yeah, yeah, you had like, to you had to swallow that pill right, right there. I said, "Fuck." So you know, the next day, I came to Officer Malak and I sat in the, and we were at the lunch table in Chow, mm -hmm. and I said, "Listen, brother, the ISUBK is the home of the truth." That's right. And so the next day, <laughs> you know, uh, he told me there was a class in library. He even said to himself, "Man, that nigga not coming. He yeah. just she's just trying to you know mock me or some shit." I walked in. I was wearing all black. Uh huh. And I was and I was just and I off the top of you, I was teaching class. Oh And man. ever since then, I just never left. Uh huh. You now you see me now, five hundred. So yeah, that's chilling. crazy. But but look like so what I really want to do in this gentleman, I want I want I want to show people that we not different. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you came out you came out of a a, a, a mind state. Right. You know I'm saying or you came out of a lifestyle. Right. And now, you know what I'm saying, you 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 mean you got the fringes on, right, you know what I'm saying right. you got the boots on, you mean you got the arm pieces on, right, you know right. what I'm saying, I SUPK it out. You know what I mean? Your life is different, you know what I'm saying? You live a life for the most high for Christ. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we all niggas and we all came out the world, we always doing the same shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You might have went through the Navy, I'm sure it's other niggas that went through the Navy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You might have came through a white school, I'm sure it's other niggas that's coming through white schools. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So your life don't make you know what I mean, exactly. don't make you any different exactly. than a nigga in the world, or that's that's that's, that's watching this. Exactly, because I want to say something too on that point, though, because you know, even though I was in the suburbs for my middle and high school career, mm -hmm. of course, most of my family we were from Asbury, Neptune, North New Jersey, Linden, and Orange, and mm -hmm. you know, some parts of Philly and Camden, New Jersey, and all these areas. Right. And even though I was around white people a lot, I seen the conditions of my people, mm -hmm. and as a and as a as a kid, I would always ask my my grandparents and my father, like, why are we like this? Because mm -hmm. you know, I'm living in a, a a house, and you know, the ground is paved and right. things like that. Not that, not not many murders and stuff like that. But when I go visit my family, then you know, my parents are telling me, this is what you gotta look out for. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Even though I was starting to get into self and into stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know, me getting into games, me selling a little bit. That's what I was doing too, mm -hmm. in and out. And you know, and then bringing it to white people because white people love to get high and get all that stuff. So, you know, Fact. I'm just trying to make a hustle. Mm -hmm. And so I still ended up following under, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm black. And I was rocking with my people and I seen the conditions of my people. Right. And because of that, you know, I was like, you know, I always wanted to do something about it. Right. I always told my grandparents, I said, my dream is 
to be like a black leader to fix my people. Right. And, I, and I thought I could do it by myself and find a way like MLK and Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? Of course, in the world, I'm thinking these black leaders are black leaders. Right. And not till I was told the truth to follow 13 Shield Command and General Yohana. Because mm -hmm. that's who the Lord chose. You know what I'm saying? Right. So... I hey mean, that's heavy, man. That's heavy, man. You're right, man. You got an interesting story, man. And we love to hear stuff like that. We love to hear right. you coming into, you know what I'm saying, the, the place that changed your life, man. It changed so many people's life, as right. we can see from these interviews, man. Right. And you I got wanna, something to say? Go ahead. And, and I want to shout out to 13 Shield Command and Junior Hanna, too. Cause this Big is from, shout Because this is real shit. This is from the heart, though. I was born. Shut up. I, I was born. I was born 96. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about it. You know, I wasn't even thought of. But the things that he did was for me mm. in, in 2018 to 2020. Right. So that's that's my real respect. He didn't even know me from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, he didn't know I was going to be born in 96. But he loved black people so much, he thought about the future ahead of him. And he saved you know your saying? life all we in. Exactly. In all of, He slept on, on floors for somebody like me. And who am I? Right. You know what I'm saying? So with that, shout out to uh, 30 Shield Command Junior Hanna for real. Yeah, because that's because that's my Hanna. outmost respect. You know so what when man? you think of black leaders today, who you think of? So black leaders today, I think of Command Junior Yohana. I right. think of General Mahayman. Right. I think of all the generals in the IHBK and the captains and the officers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Those are the black leaders that I think of. Mm. I completely washed away my hey. mind and said, these are the niggas that I'm gonna follow. Hey. Excuse my language, hey. but the brothers that I'm gonna follow. Hey. Mm -hmm. You understand? So those, so that's what I, that's what comes to mind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's this one West shit. You feel me? That's heavy. That's heavy. Anything else you want to tell the people out there, man? Our two subscribers, you know, man. Our two you know, followers. It, you know, to all y'all, listen, stay <laughs> up. You know, if you're not in the truth, get into this truth. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? If, and if you are in the truth, keep pushing this truth. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? This shit never going to stop because right. you know, like I said, I'm a young man. I'm 23, about to be 24. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real. The generals and some of the captains above us, they way older than us. Mm -hmm. So anybody in my age group. We're the new ones coming in. Right. And we got to fulfill their shoes right. and never let go of this truth for the generation that also comes after us. Because mm -hmm. you can see the children that's playing around right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to be the ones teaching them. And they're right. going to look at us as one day future generals and future captains. You understand? Right. So remember that never let go of your sword. Continue to study mm -hmm. and continue being who you are too. Mm -hmm. But staying strong in this truth. And never let your mind to be dirty again. Yeah, that's right, man. That's right, man. Shalom, man. man shalom. The water for the interview, too, man. No sweat. Right, we got to represent for the culture. Niggas coming out here with all this funny color hair, skinny jeans and shit. Fuck, Fuck that, that shit nigga. Is We're taking it back gay. to the fringes. Motherfucking spikes, nigga, representing for the Hebrews. It's you know right. Angry nigga, black man media, that's nigga. We, we getting doing. it there. We bringing that no, real man. shit black. I'm right. right. my yeah. guns with the sneaks. That's my fashion week. Go ask the streets. Dog, we got massive beef. We pass elite. Play this on blast, repeat. Let it go worldwide, let the masses peep. I don't care if she thick or her ass petite. She yeah. want war with the D, she a casualty. Long as she don't got no limits like I'm Master P. Oh Fucking bitches! Dick style! You know I'm squeezing on trigger, my bullets hitting you, hitting you won't heal up with stitches. You don't want that, you don't wanna get your skull cracked. Better tighten up when a nigga tell you fall back. Titties on a drum, you a sucker, give you all that. When you stand tall at, that's where you gon' fall at. Ah.